Reggie, what's the first number? First number uh, three. Two. Okay, number two. First up. Yesterday, President Trump continued his re-election campaign by traveling to Yuma, Arizona, where he met with Republican officials and examined the section of the border wall that he apparently felt he needed to autograph. <laughs> Old habits die hard. You know, that guy sees a poorly constructed real estate project and he cannot resist just slapping his name on it. Making it the most useless thing he's put his name on since Donald Trump Jr. On that same trip, the president took some time to share some deep insights into technology and the nature of human progress. There's two things, because everything changes in the world. They change fast. Changes so fast. You do a computer and it's obsolete in two weeks. But two things that have never changed, a wall, and a wheel. We're going to always have wheels and we're going to always have walls. Those are the only two things that have never changed. Are they? I guess if he, I guess if he says it, yeah. I just, what about Tom Cruise? Tom Cruise looks exactly the same as he did 25 years ago. That's true. He has not changed. Add to that Paul Rudd. Yep. Add to that slices of cheese. Yep. Terry like Cruise. a, like a, like a, you know, like a, like a, you know, the, in, the, in the plastic. Oh, yeah. The, Not the changed. Or the singles made by a company. That's it. Cheese singles. <laughs> but Trump really likes that wheel and wall material. Here he is trotting it out again later in the same day. The problem with your business, it gets obsolete quick. Two things that will never be obsolete. A wheel and a wall, right? <laughs> a wheel and a wall. Who's clapping? Who's bursting into, who, he, who heard him say that and was like, oh my, yes. Gee, the way his fans are clamoring for fresh material, you would think Adele just dropped a new album. I guess there are now three things that will never change. Wheels, walls, and that anecdote about wheels and walls. It turns out Trump had a lot to say yesterday and he got it all out at the Students for Trump rally where he appeared to empty three months worth of backed up mind garbage. A lot of spoiled people in that group, you know, a lot of spoiled, a lot of spoiled rich people. I could build numerous walls with all the money I have. And we're now doing a hydrosonic, I call them super dupers <laughs> missile. Goes 17 times faster than the fastest missile right now. COVID, COVID-19, COVID. I said, what's the 19? COVID-19, some people can't explain what the 19. Give me the COVID-19. I said, that's an odd name. You know who's lost it? Sleepy Joe has lost it. 88 nations that we know of. I love you too. Thank you, Doe. It's the same spirit that drove America's founders. Nancy Pelosi. She wanted to dance in the streets of Chinatown. Did she? Nancy Pelosi wanted to dance through the streets of Chinatown? I feel like this is just a dream he had and he thought it was real. Although I can smell a new nickname coming on. Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> Did he call the founding fathers the... Flounding. Was, the, was it the frounders? Something frounding, flounding, yeah. It's the same spirit that drove America's frounders. Oh, frounders. <laughs> it, he even speaks in typos. It's incredible. Meanwhile, Vice President Pence took a little trip of his own. Here he is yesterday trying to board his plane in Wisconsin. <laughs> I tell you what though, this is the first time Mike Pence has ever gone down on anything. Reggie, what's next? Uh, let's go for four. Uh, sorry, one. Number two. Now, the arts community in Spain is outraged over the latest in a string of botched restorations, calling the event more than just a stroke of bad luck. Now, you may recall this incredibly disastrous restoration or this haunting claymation nightmare. Well, now... <laughs> This priceless 17th century painting of the Virgin Mary has joined their unrecognizable ranks. Here's the original painting here, and here's the restoration. 
I mean, that picture, it looks like the first picture got stung by bees. Although I, people are up in arms about this. I don't know if it's that bad. If you dropped it into a Zoom call, I don't think you would even notice. <laughs> Reggie, what's the final thing? Let's go for three. Okay, number three, also in Spain. Barcelona's Liceu Grand Theatre held its reopening and to mark the occasion, a string quartet performed a concert for an audience of nearly 2,300 potted plants. I mean, I, when I see this, I'm like, how many people needed to sign off on this idea to get it to happen? There must have been people holding a potted plant like, why are we doing this? I don't know. Just put it down, dude. I mean, I watch, I, that all seemed a bit fake to me. Don't you think, Reg? Like, I think, I think the audience was full of plants. <laughs> Looks like they're doing Plantum of the Opera. <laughs> That's one of those concerts where everyone was on pot. You know what they say? There's nothing better than an audience that really roots for you. It must have been a pretty bad performance considering they made the entire audience leaf. This has been Three Things. Three Things.